Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Snowboard Pro Camp live chat. Uh, back here in Whistler, BC, Canada. As you guys know, we've been away for, for quite a while, uh, but it feels really good to be back in Whistler. Uh, thank you guys all for tuning in. Uh, super stoked to have you guys. Winter is so close to starting. The, the temperature here, it's pretty cold. Um, we've been having uh, some new snow here in Whistler, and yeah, it's, it's really starting to feel like winter's on its way. Um, but yeah, a few things that to do in this live chat. I'm going to reveal uh, my new snowboard. Let's give you guys a quick, quick preview. So I've got a new snowboard here. I uh, ordered it from Evo. And so yeah, I wanna give you guys, I was thinking about doing a video um, just showing just about the board, but I didn't wanna wait. So I thought I would squeeze this into the live chat showing you guys my new board. Really excited about it. Um, also, also announcing the winners uh, from the beanie giveaway. So if you guys saw the last video on YouTube, um, it was about the Snowboard Pro Camp beanies. So I ordered, I uh, got 200 made. And basically with the Snowboard Pro Camp beanie was, uh, was just really trying to design a beanie that I would be stoked on wearing the entire winter. So I tried to put, uh, all the things that I look for in a beanie into this one and uh, yeah I've been wearing it for the last five weeks was wearing it in Australia and in New Zealand and uh, throughout that time I was really I uh, thought it was good quality and I liked the way the, the fit and the feel and everything like that so I was uh, pretty stoked to order 200 and then put them up for sale so those beanies are, uh, are for sale there's a link right below the video and uh, it's an awesome way to support the channel and I hope you guys like the the beanie like the quality um, I think they're like half sold out so of the 200 I'm, I'm saving like 20 for giveaways um, and then I've given away a few already and then I'm so there's 180 for sale and I think half of those are gone already so if you guys want to pick up a beanie uh, definitely check out the link below uh, while quantities last um, but yeah, gonna give away three beanies. I put a, a Instagram contest up. So giving away three beanies uh, to you guys. So yeah, thank you guys all for join, joining us here. Thanks for, for everyone that entered on Instagram. And it'd be cool too to get you guys feedback as well. So let's just see if we have any questions. Yeah, so this is also guys, YouTube, Snowboard Pro Camp Live, YouTube, uh, YouTube stream. So if you guys have any questions about snowboarding, um, anything at all from beginner tips, uh, tricks, um, intermediate riding uh, tips, if you have any uh, like video requests, definitely let, let us know as well. Um, or um, also like if you guys want to um, want any advice for like traveling, we've been to I think we've been to four continents snowboarding the last year, and at least uh, more than a dozen countries. So if you guys any advice for traveling um yeah just anything at all if you guys have some gear purchases that you are thinking about making or you need some advice on gear uh trying to uh you know over the years I've been trying to ride lots of different types of gears so, so i have a good good idea of of uh get the feel of a lot of different products so yeah uh, down for any questions that you guys have and um yeah, really stoked to be on here with you guys. And it's also a super chat as well. So if you hit that super chat button, um, you can uh, make a donation to the channel, uh, help support these live chats and the production of more videos. And then we can, um, yeah, I'll get to those, um, our, our priority as well. So yeah, thank you guys all for tuning in. I already see, just give a, a few people a shout out and then we'll get to some questions. Old Man Shredder, you're on here. Rob Gams, Bro Sweet, Reds Cap, Time Winter Sports. Thomas V, Joel, Ozzy R1, uh, Wild Hyde, Kaysen, Zachary. What's up guys? Thank you guys all for tuning in. Um, we'll, I'm gonna get to some questions now. We'll try to get to as many as possible. Then I'll do the announcement for the winner of the three beanies. So it's, it's actually gonna be so three people and each person one, wins one beanie. So it's not one person wins three beanies. Uh, three beanies giving away to three people. And then also a little bit later, I'll do the, uh, the board reveal. And I'll talk about our upcoming snowboard trip too a little bit later as well. All right, so we got a few super chats. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for the support. In motion SLB with the super chat. Thanks, man. You up first, yeah, on here first. Thanks for, uh, thanks for helping 
organize the, Europe, the upcoming Europe trip. Old Man Shredder, yo, what's up, man? Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the support, Old Man Shredder. A million pop off, you're a legend. Number three, I like this. Erica Constantino, number four on the, on the support. I love it. Thank you guys so much. In Motion SLB, Old Man Shredder, Amelia Popoff, Erica Constantino. It's like uh, reading off uh, the legends list of the, of the, of the uh, live chat. Uh, Shane Post with the super chat, 9.99. Thanks, man. And Shane says, what's going on, guys? Love the channel and love the mountains. Keep up the grind. Ride a few runs for me and stay young. If we had more people like you in the world, uh, the world would be a better place. Awesome. Fort Worth, Texas. Awesome. Thanks so much, Shane. Yeah, I really appreciate it. That's an awesome, really cool message there. Yeah. Yeah. I love the mountains as well, man. I hope you get to uh, get out for some runs this season. And uh, yeah, where do you ride near Fort Worth, Texas? Is it, a, is it a bit of a drive for you or do you have to fly to get to the mountains? We'd love to get down to Texas to visit sometime. Uh, seems like a really cool place. And Old Man Shredder wants to know Patreon soon. Uh, yeah, so now that back in Whistler, um, got the more of a relaxed schedule. So after this live chat, we'll definitely hop onto Patreon. So thanks for that, man. And if you guys want, uh, below in the description, there's, uh, there's um, a spot where you, can, you guys can check out the link to the beanies, um, also the gear list, and then also onto Patreon too, if you guys wanna join onto that uh, extra 30 minute li uh, live stream. And another thing I'm doing for Patreon, uh, it's pretty cool, I think it's pretty neat, is, uh, and I started this over in Australia, is kind of like uh, chairlift stories. So on the chairlift, uh, making like a, a four or five minute video talking about a topic, and then we're gonna start uploading those to Patreon probably today. I've got two, two ready to go. So some new uh, content coming to Patreon. All right, so let's get to some more questions. Thanks everyone for tuning in. So another super chat from Charlie Mullins. What's up, Charlie? Charlie says, I'm a beginner snow, uh, I began snowboarding last season and I have started jumping and 180s and waiting for my indoor slope to put some rails in to try. I was wondering what's a good beginner freestyle board that's cheap? Oh man, I've got the perfect board for you. So I think the perfect board for that would be the Capita Horoscope. And uh, I actually bought the Capita Horoscope um, earlier back in, I think it was like April. And the reason I bought it was because it's, it's probably, it's one of the cheapest uh, boards in the Capital line. It's freestyle oriented. Uh, so it's like, it's, uh, it's meant to be a park board. So it's got that twin shape. Um, the profile, it's got a zero camber, so it's, it's flat. So it does give you some pop, um, but it's also not so cambered that, uh, that it's like it's too stiff or anything. So the zero camber gives you some some pop and also gives you um, a bit of control for the park. And then the nose and tail are slightly rockered, so you can get into presses very easily. Highly recommend the uh, Capital Horoscope. I've been riding it now for like five months, and yeah, it's a very I, I would say the best um, word to describe the board for a park board is it's consistent and. Uh, I think that's what you want when you're sort of like beginner intermediate park rider is you want that consistent feel be below your feet. So the Capital Horoscope, that's my, that's my recommendation. On top of that, it's like a really cool, fun looking board as well. So that was uh, one of the things that sold me as well. So yeah, check out that board. Uh, there's a link to it actually below. Um, so if you wanna check that, uh, that out as well. Awesome, great, uh, great question. All right. See who else is on here. Uh, Joel says, I'm going to Park City and I have no idea what to expect. Um, yeah, I, would, uh, I haven't been to Park City. I've heard some good things, but I think it depends on, yeah, it depends on the season. Let's see how the, let's see how the season starts. So far here in Whistler, we've, had, we've already had some snow on, on the tops of the mountains. Um, so, you know, it looks promising, but you never know. You never really know what the what the season's gonna bring until you're in it. And, uh, but yeah, so far so good. We've got some, some snow and some cold temperatures. All right, a few more super chats rolling in here. We've got Sebastian Will with the super chat. Thanks so much for the support. Uh, he says, best regards from Germany. Great channel. Awesome, thanks so much, Sebastian. 
Um, it's a good time, actually, if you're from Germany, we're going to be at the Landgraf uh, Snow World uh, coming up on the, what are the dates, the 13th and 14th of October. So if you want to, if you're in Germany, I don't know what part of Germany you're in, but Landgraf is kind of, is close to the border of the Netherlands and Germany. So yeah, if that's in your area, man, if you want to come, come stride with us, we're going to be in Landgraf at that time. And then we're also going to be if you're on the side of Germany, closer to Munich, we're flying into Munich and then going to be riding the Stubai Glacier in Austria uh, the following week after that. So um, pretty fun uh, Europe trip coming up. Thanks for watching from Germany, man. Uh, shout out too to all the uh, shout out to all the Europeans watching. I know you guys are staying up for this, so thank you guys so much for staying up. And Ben Webby, has got a great question. What do you use while recording besides your GoPro? Um, so um, one camera that I use is kind of like my vlogging camera. So for down in the valley, for doing stuff off the mountain is a Sony RX100 Mark V. And it's just, um, you know, it's kind of like a mid-range camera. Uh, so it does a, I think the, the quality is really good, um, but it's got a built-on lens, so everything is kind of in, in one piece, which, which I like. It just makes it easy for, for traveling with the camera, something I can have like around my neck and filming those like vlogs. Um, the other thing I've been using quite a bit too is just my, my iPhone. So I've got the iPhone 8, and I find that the iPhone does really good video as well. So those are the two cameras I use besides the GoPro. And Bruce Lafferty says, Kevin, the the ending edit to one of the last videos you made was super sick. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, I just did like a little quick um, edit uh, doing like, it's kind of like a promo, I guess, for the upcoming trip to Landgraf. Kind of like recapping some of the stuff that we did in New Zealand, Australia, and then um, previewing what's to come. And yeah, that was such a fun trip down to New Zealand and Australia that it was... Uh, it's definitely worth putting together just a short recap. Um, yeah, actually, I wish I did a longer recap because there was so many, so many highlights from that trip. It was, it was incredible. Um, so Flexi, what's your favorite snowboard video on YouTube or on other platforms? Awesome, man. Yeah, so on Red Bull TV, I actually watched some videos the other night. And um, yeah, there's a... Depth perception, is that the one? Or is it called perception? Or maybe that's, that's two videos. There's a couple of videos on Red Bull TV that are pretty incredible snowboard videos. Um, the one with Iro Itala um, called Ender, that was a really pretty cool, inspiring video. Definitely recommend you guys watch that. It's kind of like the uh, behind the scenes look at Iro Itala's career. Uh, one of the best snowboarders around. And yeah, it was really great to, uh, to watch that. So yeah, check out some Red Bull TV. They've got lots of, I think it's all free. So you can, you can get the uh, app on your, on your TV or on your phone and then watch some uh, free, free uh, snowboard vids on there. Oh, and also the Union movie, Stronger. That was pretty incredible too. Sorry for the background noise here, guys. <laughs> All right, so some more super chats. Uh, Rob Retromel, thanks for the port support. He says, where's Chris? Super stoked about this season. My wife and I bought Epic Passes. Can't wait for all your new content too. Wow, awesome, man. Uh, so, well, Chris, he's uh, recovering his knee still. I think uh, I have a feeling that we'll be seeing him back. Um, yeah, I've, I've been, I saw Chris the other night and uh, yeah, I'll give you guys I'll give you guys, I'll let you know as soon as Chris gives me the, the word that he's good to snowboard. I think he's still waiting on his, uh, his doctor's approval. So we'll see, we'll hear from Chris very soon. Uh, so that you guys got the Epic Pass. I got an Epic Pass as well. Being here in Whistler, it's totally worth it. And then gives you the option to ride a bunch of other resorts like in Colorado and places uh, in Hakuba, Japan now as well. Uh, and we also picked up the Icon Pass. So there's uh, some places in the interior of BC Revelstoke, you can use the Icon Pass, Jackson Hole, Mammoth, uh, Bear Mountain, and down in Niseko, Japan. So we got, <laughs> we've got two uh, collective passes. Uh, thanks so much for the support, Rob. Hope you guys have a great season. And Wild Hyde with the Super Chat as well. He says, hey, Kevin, love the channel. The, ra uh, the Rad 
the Rod the Ripper mittens TJ wore and Parashare, would they be warm enough for Canada winter snowboarding? Um, I actually don't, I don't know about those Rad uh, mitts. I feel like they're sort of like a mid, like light to mid weight mitt. They're not super light. They're not like um, a spring or summer mitt. So I feel like it's just depending on the person. Like some people naturally run a bit warmer than others. So if you're somebody that, you know, the cold hasn't bothered your hands, then um, they, may, they may be fine for a Canadian winter. For me, like on those, on those colder days, I need a, a fairly thick mitt. Uh, my hands do get cold, so I don't think they'd be thick enough for me. But for, yeah, it, it kind of is a personal thing. My, I feel like you need a bit of a thicker mitt than that, just in general. And Armin91 Nails with the super chat. I uh, just want to support the channel. You guys rock. Awesome. Thanks so much, Armin. And Trevor Case as well with the support too. Thanks so much, Trevor. No question or comment there. Um, yeah, actually, I guess I'll give uh, just use this opportunity to announce the winners of the Snow Snowboard Pro Camp beanies. So on Instagram, put it out in the uh, on the YouTube channel last night that if you uh, follow us on Instagram, tag three friends, automatically entered. And so before hopping onto the live chat, uh, pick three winners. So I wrote them down because their winners are on my phone, but I wrote them on the back of a Snowboard Pro Camp sticker. Another thing you guys can pick up if you want. <laughs> but the winners from the, the, uh, the giveaway for the beanies, these three beanies right here, all packed, ready to go. All right, so the first, the first beanie is going to Mandy Swan. Congrats, Mandy. Um, saw there's some photos on there of you and your, I think it's you and your boyfriend snowboarding. So yeah, hope you, you can uh, use this yourself or maybe if you want to give it as a gift to your boyfriend. But congrats, Mandy. Uh, Rishi P, congrats, Rishi. You win the next beanie. Awesome, man. Um, not too many photos on your Instagram, but yeah, congrats. And Nolan uh, Legaspi. So Nolan Legaspi, congrats, man. You won the, uh, the beanie as well. And you had lots of uh, snowboard photos and videos on your channel, on your Instagram page. So yeah, congrats, you guys. So Mandy Swan, Rishi P, and Nolan Legaspi. I'll uh, send you guys out a message soon so that I can get your addresses and we'll send these out to you guys. Awesome. Thanks for everyone else who entered. Sorry, I couldn't give away more, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll definitely get some more contests uh, running um, every week or so. Um, yeah, with, uh, I know I've been talking to um, Sandbox about doing some contests. Um, obviously, more contests as we get more beanies in. And then, um, yeah, just, uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Get some contests going. Awesome, guys. Okay, cool. Yo, and we got 192 people watching today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I think this is the, video, the biggest uh, uh, number of people we've had in a while, so really stoked. If you guys can, give this video a like too. That would be amazing. A new super chat from Sean Schroeder. Uh, thanks so much, Sean. He says, love the videos, man. What are your thoughts on training freestyle indoor compared to the mountains? And can you share more info on the Euro trip? Um, yeah, I think the, uh, the best thing about like an indoor slope is how quick you can do laps. Um, so if, especially if you're working on the freestyle stuff, so like rails or jumps, and if there's like a, a tow rope where you can just do those quick laps, it's, uh, it's like just as good as, ha as having a long run. Um, Cause here in Whistler, you know, you might have a really long uh, terrain park, but then when you end up back at the chairlift line and you gotta wait like 15, 20 minutes to get back up to the top, it kind of breaks up the whole flow. So by having an indoor place where you can just keep those laps going, almost like a hamster on a tr uh, treadmill, just going around and around, uh, that's an amazing way to get really good at rails and jumps and. Uh, just getting everything down. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's like one of the best ways to train. That's why there's a lot of really good snowboarders uh, for the park and freestyle that come from the east coast of North America. 
They've got those just like short runs, uh, but there's like a tow rope or a button lift or something that's just getting them around that, uh, that part quick. So yeah, it's a great way to, uh, to train and to learn, uh, learn tricks. All right, guys. So Lucifer Morningstar with the support. Thanks so much. Uh, you said my name wrong. Do I still get a beanie? <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, sorry I missed you on this one. Good luck next time. <laughs> You're a legend, Lucifer. Um, and Jen with the super chat. Thanks so much, and Jen. Uh, greetings from the 303 crew. Are you gonna snowboard on Friday at Landgraf? And who else is coming along? Um, I'm not sure if we're snowboarding on Friday. I think it's, so the dates I believe are the 13th and the 14th uh, that we're gonna be riding. So we do get in on Friday into Amsterdam and uh, Narav and I believe Narav and Yannick are picking us up. So I'd like to snowboard on Friday. I'll, I'll see what happens. Um, I'll keep you posted, man. But uh, I think we're snowboarding the 13th and 14th at Landgraf. And yes, so it's TJ, myself, uh, Yannick, and Narav, and been putting out lots of uh, notices on Instagram and on here to, uh, to get as many people out to Snow World. It'd be awesome to uh, meet up with you guys. And yeah, and Jen, if you're there that weekend, man, let's ride. We can uh, have some of those uh, Belgian beers as well and uh, hang out, just have a good time. And Anthony Thomas with the super chat. Thanks, Anthony. I uh, love the channel. Uh, could you guys do some reviews of wide boards for the Bigfoot? Uh, if you ever want to ride cheap, to ride cheap, check out Bear Paw Ski near uh, Havre. Okay, where's, where's Havre? Um, yeah, absolutely. So I'll pass that over to TJ. I know TJ. He is a he is a fan of some of those wider boards. Um, so the um, yeah, I'll get them. I'll get them to. I'll get them on some wide boards. And this year too, like I'm gonna try to get onto some. Um, I always love riding different boards just to get the feel and comparison and checking out new stuff. So I'll look out for some of those too. But yeah, some of the wide boards, even for people that don't have uh, big feet, um, they can be good for riding in the slush, riding in powder, obviously, and just giving you that different feel for for carving as well. So. Um, like the uh, like TJ is a big fan of the uh, the the, the war pig. So that's uh, the war pig is one of those boards. It's a bit wider, um, and is pretty versatile for all mountain or for riding in the park. And there's definitely some some uh, some benefits to riding those wider boards. But yeah, I'll, I'll pass that on to TJ. Um, TJ is going to be doing a live chat on Monday as well. So if you want to pass that question, if you want to tune in on Monday and then ask TJ directly, that's a good way is to uh, get some of those reviews made too. Ooh, that could be a, actually a really good, maybe possibly. I know that TJ, he's putting out some of his top five lists. So top five boards of the year. And maybe he can do a top five uh, wide board list. That could be cool. Um, Trevor Case with the Super Chat. Uh, when will you be coming to Keystone? I'll be working as Mountain Safety this winter there. Would love to meet you. Thanks for the great content. Awesome, Trevor. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, dude, you'll have a blast working there, Mountain Safety. Uh, absolutely loved Keystone. The park was great. The tree riding was great. Uh, loved taking the, uh, the cat at the top of the mountain on a powder day to get up to the top. Um, yeah, you're going to have a good time, man. But uh, if we make it down to Colorado and we end up riding at Keystone, I'll definitely let you know in advance. Um, it'd be great to, uh, to meet up for some laps. I know TJ is pretty, he's pretty keen to get down to Keystone uh, at some point this winter because that was his home mountain last year. All right, let's see who else is on here. So Alvaro Rojas says, any Europe this year? Uh, so no plans for uh, the winter, uh, but for the fall, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're heading to Landgraf in the Netherlands uh, next weekend. And then we're gonna be following that in the Stubai Glacier in Austria for about a week. So we're gonna be out there. Uh, Stephanie, any plans to come to the Scottish mountains? Uh, no plans at the moment, Stephanie, but uh, one of these trips will make it to Scotland for sure. Uh, Respectful says, did you announce the beanie winners? 
Yeah, I, I did. I'll just uh, read them off one more time. Mandy Swan, uh, Rishi P, and Nolan Legaspi. Uh, Lyric Space says, are you going to Utah? Um, no plans to go to Utah yet. I think um, we are planning on going to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I think Wyoming is connected to Utah, isn't it? Maybe not, but yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the U.S. Uh, destinations we have planned. <laughs> A million pop-off. Answer the Scottish question, please. We're going we're gonna to come to Scotland, I promise you. Jack Wu, what board did you just get? And what do you do with your old gear? Uh, so I'll answer the second part of that question. Um, so with my old gear, some of it I, I like to keep around for when I have uh, friends come out to visit. That way they can, I've got some extra setups uh, so that if I have, yeah, if I have two or three friends come to visit, maybe one, one of them doesn't have snowboard gear, I can just give them a full setup and that way they don't, um, they don't have to like rent all the gear. Um, and then some of the stuff I, I'll put up for sale. Um, yeah, some of the stuff I, I do that with. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Kind of either give it away to somebody or save it for friends or I may, may sell one or two things as well. Uh, so Backlap05 says, what do you prepare different when you, when you prepare for indoor snowboarding in Landgraf? Um, so differently, I'm not going to do really anything different. I don't have a ton of experience snowboarding in indoor places. Um, so I don't really know exactly what to expect, but I feel like, um, you know, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do lots of like, sort of like stretching and some exercising things to get ready, probably some yoga, just so that when I get off that long plane ride, I think it's like, it's like nine or 10 hours from Vancouver to Amsterdam, plus a two hour drive. So that that long trip that long day of traveling i'm gonna need to do lots of uh exercising and stretching before after and along the way to make sure i'm i'm feeling uh feeling good for when i arrive and rashid abiola with the super chat thanks so much what do you think about the new yes greats uh it's the 10-year anniversary board with a new design awesome so yeah i actually rode so the Yes Greats, uh, I believe, is kind of the same board as uh, used, what used to be the Burton Unink, um, and I had the Burton Unink the last year they made that one, and yeah, I I love that board. It was like a great um, free ride slash park board, and um, I think the Yes Greats continues that. So I think it's it's supposed to be like a good all all around board. So um, I'm I'd be pretty stoked to try it again. I haven't ridden it. Uh, since I guess it was 11 years ago now. So if, if it's the 10, 10 year, 10th year anniversary for Yes, then I would have wrote it the year before that when they made it on uh, at Burton. And Anthony, Mon Anthony Thomas with the Super Chat says, uh, Havre, Montana. If you ever come down, let me know. The top wideboard review sounds good. I vote for the K2 Bottle Rocket. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah, good choice. Cool, Montana, yeah, I would love to uh, visit Montana someday. We'll, we'll definitely let you know. And Shane Post with the Super Chat says, I love Colorado vacation, but how is it living in the mountains? And we ski, but this season are switching to snowboarding and, and bought a K2 board. Oh, amazing. Yeah, living in the mountains is, is, is just the best. I absolutely love it. I uh, moved out here about um, 15 years ago now to Whistler and was hooked. And every time I had like friends or family come visit, uh, everyone, you know, whoever came to visit, most of them got hooked as well and either ended up moving to Whistler or moving down to Vancouver, like very close to the mountains. And yeah, it's just, uh, it's a pretty cool feeling out here. Awesome guys, love the, uh, love the, Lots of you guys are just chatting to each other in the comments too. That's awesome to see. All right, Joe Sanderson with an awesome question. Top tip for switch progress progression. Is it just a case? Is it just a case of putting in those hours? Uh, yeah, definitely. It is. Uh, that's one of the cases. Is just putting in the time, putting in those hours. 
Uh, the other thing I would say is, is actually just challenging yourself while you're riding Switch too, uh, because like what I found, uh, at first I did just think like, okay, I'll put in the hours, lots of switch, switch riding, and I'll progress. And I think it got a little bit stale for a year or two of doing that. And then when I, I got back into my switch progression and I started trying to do like switch tricks, switch ollies, started to try to do jump switch and boxes, um, even like riding the chairlift switch and riding some powder switch as well. And once I started challenging myself with all those other kinds of things, it made uh, riding switch just like a really fun, different thing to do on my board. And yeah, it also just made, say like if you're riding through um, the park line, the jump line, and uh, you know, you're, you're kind of like repeating yourself and you want to do something different, hit a, hit a jump switch. It, it can be a lot of fun, it can be a challenge. And then when you start to get into like those switch kind of tricks, it just opens up so much. So yeah, definitely challenge yourself by, you know, even like powder. When I started do, riding some powder switch, it kind of like, you know, if you got that back leg burn, if you start to ride switch through powder and then it's, you start to use your other leg, it's a great way to sort of balance it out. Uh, and then the other thing I found is on those like really long days, if uh, I try to mix it up a lot between riding goofy and switch, then you almost have more energy at the end of the day because if you're like looking one way and you're always using the same muscles going in the same direction, as soon as you start to uh, go switch, then it kind of like gives those muscles a break. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an awesome way to, to progress your riding, to you know, have all kinds of new tricks come into your riding as well. And then uh, yeah, just to, and then it also just makes you an overall better rider. So yeah, check that out. There's also some, also some videos on the channel. I think there's two videos where it's like ten, it's like a ten things to do switch on the channel. So maybe check out some of those videos as well. Great question, man. All right. And Edgar17, if he ever gonna try out Washington State Resorts, Stevens Pass, Crystal Mountain, Mount Baker. Yeah, that's been on our list for a long time. I think now that we have the Icon Pass, I believe that Stevens Pass is on there. So yeah, we'll be doing some trips down there this year. Um, yeah, I gotta hit up Washington. It's so close, there's so many great mountains and uh, I've never done it. So something I gotta definitely have to do. All right, guys, so we're at the halfway point of the live stream. Um, good time, I think, to uh, open up the mystery board. I'm super stoked on this board. I've, some of you guys know what it is, but uh, yeah, let's uh, check it out. Ooh. So yeah, if you guys know what this board is, it's the Burton Deep Thinker. Uh, I rode this board a few times last season and had a really good time on it. On top of that, this is one of TJ's favorite boards that he rode last year. I know that he rode it on uh, in a video called, um, I think it was like the best day of tree snowboarding in Whistler. And that was, he rode this board and absolutely loved it. And so I picked this up as, so this is gonna be like my all mountain board this year. So for, for like carving, for riding groomers, uh, for taking into the powder through trees. And yeah, I'm really, really stoked on it. Honestly, the first thing when I picked this, at, like when I took it out of the package, the top sheet is, is awesome. It's like, a, it's like a piece of art, it's so cool. So I'm really stoked on the, on the design, on the look. Check out the back. It's got these like squiggly, like little, like popcorn things on there. But yeah, so this board, it's got a slight taper to it. So the nose is slightly fatter than the tail, which I think is gonna make it, it's gonna make it pretty good for, for ducking into the powder, which is pretty common here in Whistler. So that little bit of a fatter tail, uh, fatter nose, gonna help it to float a bit better through the powder. So I'm stoked on that feature. 
It's also got a lot of camber, uh, kind of like in the back seat towards this, the camber kind of is closer to the tail of the board, which is, uh, I think it's gonna make, um, I'm stoked to ride a full camber board like this because I think it's gonna really make it uh, like snappy, lots of control, good for carving and for getting those quick turns and also for like ollieing out of powder or ollieing or, or like landing a, a cliff drop too. So having that, having that camber kind of more towards the tail, I'm pretty stoked on. But yeah, and I also feel like this board um, is pretty freestyle friendly too. So if I wanna be, you know, doing some, uh, some spins or some grabs, um, all that kind of stuff, this is gonna be the board. So I'm super stoked on this board. And it's got a built-in stomp pad. How cool is that? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm stoked on the look of this board. Was, uh, did a lot of, a lot of research, a lot of thinking, and always trying to find, always trying to find like the best products out there. I know there's a lot of great all mountain boards and uh, there's so many to choose from. I would love to, uh, love to have them all, but if I had to pick one, this is, uh, this is the one I would pick. So I'm pretty stoked on the Burton Deep Thinker. Woo, what do you guys think? <laughs> Yeah, I think the graphic is kind of like a throwback graphic. It's kind of, uh, it's got a sort of like an 80s style to it. Let's see if I can get it to stand up. Kind of. Stay. Yeah, sweet guys. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Um, yeah, just put in lots of time and time looking in, into what would be an ideal all mountain board. I'm pretty stoked on that one. Yeah, Joe Sanderson says, uh, is it actually a stomp pad? It is actually a stomp pad. Yeah, built in stomp pad. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to check out the board too, um, after the live chat, I'll put a link uh, to where you guys can find it. And. Yeah, I would, uh, I recommend it. I'm always trying to like ride and find different products and you know, jackets or pants or whatever it is, always trying to find what I think is, is the best and then relay that onto you guys. So yeah, I think, it, I think it's pretty solid. All right, so we've got a few more super chats. Old Man Shredder, uh, tell us more about the custom insoles. Awesome, really good question, man. Um, yeah, so got those custom insoles made in uh, Jindabyne while, while we were in Australia. Um, absolute legend, uh, Joey, he uh, contacted us through our friend Josh, and uh, he said, you know, if you guys want to come in, maybe make a piece of content or like Instagram post, um, hook you guys up with some custom insoles. So yeah, the process of getting the insoles made uh, was pretty cool, really interesting, learned a lot about um, like feet and how they sort of, um, yeah, like what they're doing inside of the boot and what could be causing foot pain and how to prevent that. So with the insole, you kind of build up um, like a, an arch uh, or a cushion that supports your arch. Uh, so, and everyone's arch is different. That's why snowboard boots don't come with an uh, arch support already in there. So yeah, it's perfect. So it's, they, he made it custom to my, to my feet and it felt great. So walking around in the boots, it felt really comfortable. Uh, my foot felt like just, yeah, really supported. And I did ride with them one day. And that one day riding, uh, they did feel great, but they felt, it definitely felt different. So I can't say right now that they're, you know, they're amazing and they're the best because I only uh, had them one day. Um, but yeah, so far, so far they've been great. They definitely felt a bit, like they felt very different because I was actually supported. Uh, but yeah, I can give you guys more feedback maybe after this upcoming trip to Europe. But yeah, it's a really cool process. I definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, they're a little bit, it was $250 Australian is the regular price. So I don't know how it compares to other places, but I feel like if you have foot pain or if you're, or you're looking for that performance, it's, not, it's definitely worth it, especially if it, if it relieves foot pain. Um, yeah, there's been days where I've just been agonizing on the mountain. Not too much, my feet have been pretty good the last few years, but in years past where I've had, you know, I don't know, for whatever reason, just my feet would like ache on certain days. So hopefully 
This just makes my feet feel awesome all the time. And Lawrence live uh, with the super chat for the tacos. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, I actually had uh, TJ and Chris over the other night. We had some tacos. It was awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, be pick up, uh, pick up some tacos again soon. Uh, Armin 91 nails says, do you ride switch on that kind of board? Um, yeah, so you can ride switch on it. So I believe uh, Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's a it's a directional twin. So basically uh, What that means is that the board Between the contact points um, Actually, maybe it's not but I do, <laughs> I do know that you can ride this board switch. The, the nose is actually just a, is a bit bigger, but I, I believe that it's bigger past the contact points. So with that larger nose, it's gonna make it easier for floating in powder, but it is gonna ride pretty much the same. Actually, the, the taper is gonna make it ride a little bit different switch as well, because then you're gonna have a, uh, with that tapered shape, the tail's gonna be a little bit bigger than the, the nose. Um, while riding switch, but yeah, I think you can ride it, this board switch quite a bit. It'd be funny if it fell over. All right, and uh, Joe Sanderson um, with the super chat. Great work, Kev. Thanks for answers. For the answers, uh, bedtime uh, later here. All right, man. Joe, good night, man. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so DJ Gem says, got the last year's Deep Thinker. You can definitely ride Switch on it. Awesome. Good to know. Uh, Annabelle Keller says, you know when David is coming to the States and how's Chris's injury? I uh, haven't seen him in a long time. I don't know when David, actually that's funny that you asked because I actually uh, messaged David this morning, asked him what his plans were for snowboarding. Um, he said he doesn't have plans yet, so I think he's... I think he's just finishing off the season there in New Zealand, still enjoying the snow there while it's lasting. And then uh, he'll go from there. But yeah, I don't know what David's up to. And Chris, yeah, hopefully Chris gets the okay from his doctor to start snowboarding again. And then you guys will start seeing him in videos. Uh, and Catherine says, are you going to Norway anytime? Uh, would love to get to Norway. Lots of you know, amazing snowboarders out of Norway. Uh, no plans, but yeah, I think that's, uh, that'll be on our list of, of, of possible countries this winter. So we'll see what happens. And, and Jen with the super chat, Kevin, are you bringing goodies next week or can we place uh, an order? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess for you and Jen, I can definitely do it, yeah. I can bring, I'm sure I can bring some stuff over. I'm gonna try to bring some stuff uh, to give away for sure. But if you want to, uh, yeah, how, what's the easiest way to do it? Maybe email me, snowboardprocamp at gmail.com or, yeah, because I think when you make an order on, uh, on Etsy, it may charge you for shipping. So if you wanna get that free shipping, then yeah, I can, I can definitely bring it over. It's no, it's no problem. Um, can, can bring a few things. Uh, yeah, don't, let me know. Maybe email me, snowboardprocamp at gmail.com. Awesome. Yeah, I just can't bring like too many because uh, the customs, the Border Patrol might be wondering what, what I'm doing with like 50 beanies. But I can, for NGen, man, for you, I'll, I'll definitely do it. And Jack Wu says, are you going to put union bindings on the Deep Thinker or get new Burton EST bindings? Um... <laughs> Uh, that's supposed to be a secret, but I'll tell you, I did get some Malavitas for the Deep Thinker. So yeah, I'm going to put some Malavitas on it. Sebastian Will with the Super Chat. Did you ever ride a Nitro Team Gullwing? If yes, what was your experience? Do you think it's a good beginner board? Um, no, I've never heard of that board, the Gullwing. Sounds, uh, sounds really cool. Nitro Team Board. Uh, sorry, Sebastian, it can be more help, man. I haven't, yeah, haven't ridden that board. David Murray uh, says shipping is like 250 to the US. 
Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think shipping to the US is something like maybe two, 285 or something like around there. Honestly, I was like really surprised going into the, the post office here in Canada. It's pretty expensive to ship stuff. Even uh, stickers, it's a dollar, it's like a dollar 80 within Canada, like 295 to the States and like 590 worldwide just to, uh, to st uh, send a few stickers. So yeah, it's, it's pretty expensive to ship stuff. Uh, Jack Wilcox is on here. What's up, Jack? Any tips for riding moguls? Those snow-covered koala bears. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to ride all over those snow-covered koalas back in the day. The koalas. What's up, Jack, man? Are you coming back to Whistler this year? Uh, so Jack used to, I used to actually teach Jack to snowboard back in the day. Uh, Adam Bad Rider says, thanks for sending out that sticker pack. Awesome. What's up, Adam? Are you being sarcastic? I don't, I don't quite, I don't quite get it. All right. Uh, and Mac Panda one says, bought the beanie earlier today. I uh, can't wait to get it. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks so much for the support. And yeah, sweet, yeah. Thanks so much for ordering a beanie. Uh, yeah, if anyone wants to pick up a Snowboard Pro Camp beanie, link uh, right below in the description. And David Murray says, two, so 250, yeah, 250 American. Uh, shipping is cheap. Okay, cool. Uh, Jack Wardle, uh, great question. How long have you been snowboarding for? Uh, so I've been snowboarding for, oh man, I don't even want to say, like, um, I think it's been 20, like 21 years now. So since I was uh, 15, I'm 36 now. So yeah, I got into it just at school. I did, a, I, I skied for like two years and then was going on this like weekly um, trip with the school every like Tuesday night. We would go with the, it was like the, the, the ski and snowboard club at my high school. And then a lot of my friends snowboarded. So one of my friends taught me to snowboard and then I was hooked and bought a snowboard and all that kind of stuff. I think I got a snowboard for Christmas one year and yeah, been snowboarding ever since. Oh, sweet. So Adam Bad Rider says, uh, no man, legit. I ordered it two weeks ago and it turned up yesterday. Awesome. So stoked. Oh, and I got some step-ons for next season. Oh, very cool. Awesome, man. Well, yeah, Adam, you have to give us some feedback on how you like those, uh, step-ons how they how they go for you um yeah thanks for picking up the stickers too yeah between here and australia i feel like there's like it's like a two-week um delay or that's about how long it takes to ship stuff when i was in australia i got a bunch of postcards uh mailed them to my uh family some of my family and friends and i think it took uh, just over two weeks like two and a half weeks to uh to arrive uh, Rob Gams, Rob, you're, uh, you're, you're giving away all my secrets. He says, Kevin, when are you getting the DOA? Uh, so yeah, I ordered that board as well. And the DOA is, uh, is coming soon. And Red's cap says, uh, haha, I placed my order 2 AM PST. Awesome. Thanks Reds. Uh, appreciate it, man. Um, yeah, I'll get those, uh, get those beanies sent down to you soon. Thanks so much for your order, dude. I've been loving your uh, Facebook post too. Been watching, uh, been checking you out on Facebook. You got the Snowboard Pro Camp t-shirts and the Board Archive hoodie. Uh, hoodie or t-shirt? No, the uh, Board Archive uh, t-shirt as well. Looks good, man. Uh, so Daniel Pincher says, uh, Hey Kev, good morning from South Australia. Any plans for Japan? Uh, yo, Daniel, thanks for, uh, thanks for, tuning in this morning, man. Uh, yeah, so the plans for Australia, or for um, Japan, so we're gonna be heading there, I think, mid-January. Uh, so that's the plan. We wanna try to get there for like prime, prime time for Japan, and the word is, is that sort of like mid to late January is the time to go. So we're gonna spend some time for sure in Niseko and uh, possibly Hakuba Valley. Um, yeah, those two spots. 
And Jack Wu, how do bib pants feel around the waist? They feel amazing. <laughs> so when you're wearing the bibs, it's just you feel like free. It feels like, you know, there's nothing, uh, there's no belt around your waist, nothing, no, no restrictions. Um, yeah, I feel like you can just move a bit more free while you're snowboarding with bibs on, so I really like them. Uh, Johnny says, hey dude, first thing, thanks for your videos, great tips. I'm still a beginner, so they really help. Uh, so just bought a new board, just wondering if I should wax and sharpen it, thanks. Um, no, a brand new board, you're probably good for a couple of days before waxing it. I'd say, uh, you know, if you've got two, two or three days on your board, um, on a brand new board, then, uh, then you can wax it. But um, it's, it kind of depends too. If like you look at the base, if the base of your new board looks like it needs wax, I would uh, do it, but uh, th it should be good to go for at least a day or two on the, on the hill. And Joe Coca says, I just got, or I got the horoscope board last year with some flex bindings. What do you think about that setup? Yeah, great setup, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, I really have been liking the, the horoscope. So yeah, good, good choice. Uh, Brendan with a really good question. How long did it take you to learn simple park tricks after you started? I'm still working on getting on rails and all that. Uh, yeah, simple park tricks. It maybe took me, um, it's probably like two seasons because there was like, you know, the first season it's the whole progression of, of getting your riding down, being confident, riding with some speed. Um, I think the second season, that's when I started to get into riding switch, uh, maybe riding into the trees a little bit and getting some like side, side hit jumps and stuff going. Uh, so it was probably two, two seasons of that learning process. And then by the third season, uh, that's when I got into probably some 180s and grabs and, and all that kind of stuff. But it definitely takes a couple seasons. It did for me at least. I know some people that I see in the park, uh, they tell me that they've only been riding for a few months and, and that's really inspiring to see too. So it kind of depends. It depends on like what your background is. If you're coming from say skateboarding or surfing or one of those board sports that can really help you. Um, or if you're just naturally inclined to board sports, like my girlfriend, Jill, she like gets on a board and she's got really good balance and starts doing like little tricks and things. So yeah, it kind of depends. It depends on, on everybody. But I would say once you start to feel like you're in control riding with like some speed um, and you feel good and you've, and you've put in some time riding switch, say after that, you can start trying some of those simple tricks. Um, getting up onto a rail though, that's, uh, that's not simple. You're, that's like some intermediate stuff. So that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. And Dollar Straws says, yo, much love from Idaho. Awesome, thanks for watching from Idaho. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to mention, if you guys, let me know where you guys are watching from. Uh, also hit the, uh, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. Um, that will give you guys a notification every time we go live. Uh, Tarek says, what are your thoughts on the Burton channel system compared to traditional insert packs? Thinking about getting the new Burton Paramount. Greetings from Germany. Love your vids. Awesome. Thanks. Great question, man. I would say uh, my thoughts on it are that performance-wise, it does feel uh, it, it feels good. The, the The idea behind the channel system is that it allows the board to flex like much more naturally, not having those like um, stiff bindings on there, and and um, yeah, just the channel system. The the board should flex a bit more. Um, consistent in the way that it's designed to flex. So in that respect uh, feels good. It's it's also, I feel like the transfer through the, the softer binding um, bases, it feels really nice. Like you can kind of feel what's happening be beneath your feet better. But yeah, the one drawback is that the sometimes if you don't keep those the, the screws really tight, you can, you can have your bindings move on you. That's probably the most common thing. So if you get ESTs, it's like you have to be tightening those, those screws like I would say daily. Every time you go out, make sure you um, either carry a tool on you or, be or before you leave the house, make sure those screws are tight on the EST because they can definitely move. I've seen people where they have their binding set up and then they go out for a few runs and the next thing you know, the bindings have like maxed out. 
So you don't want that, that to happen, so keep them, keep them tight. And SNO Coat says, opinion on the new LibTech Orca, as I just got one, oh, hey, from Glasgow, Scotland. What's up, Scotland? Uh, we'll be out there shredding with you guys someday. Uh, yeah, the Orca board looks amazing. I don't know much about it, but it, it does look like a cool board. Hope you enjoy it. Just gonna go over to Super Chat just to make sure I didn't miss any over here. Thanks everyone for, uh, for doing a Super Chat. You guys are le legends. Definitely helps to support the channel, so thank you guys so much. Oh yeah, Old Man Shredder, he's a big uh, fan of the LibTech Orca board as well. And Chris Gaskin says, thanks for all the great videos. Uh, you have helped my friends and I um, in, the, in our endeavors to, to become better boarders. Keep up the great work. Awesome, thanks Chris. Yeah, no problem. I uh, love putting out the content to, to keep everyone progressing. So I'm super stoked that, uh, that you guys are doing it. Ian the Welshman, hey Kevin, where's the best place to buy a board in Whistler? I want to have the whole... I want to have the whole buying experience when I visit. Cheers. Oh, that's tough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to say, I don't want to play favorites with the shops. Um, you know, uh, Comor is a really cool place to buy a board. Um, the guys in there are awesome. Our friend on the channel, Andreas, he's, uh, I don't know if he's back yet, but he's pretty, he's like the man for, for, snowboard knowledge so check out Comor. Uh, Showcase is an awesome place to buy a board as well. Um, lots of very like uh, experienced and knowledgeable guys in Showcase so you can stop by there. Um, where else? You got Mountain Riders is kind of like a smaller shop in the village. Um, the cool thing with Mountain Riders is they got some more of the niche boards. They got some battalions in there and uh, obviously and and also the circle uh, down by um, by the IGA, they've got some some more niche products as well. Uh, for myself, like honestly, I kind of like go to every store because you know maybe one shop has a pair of mitts that I like. Like usually, I buy my mitts from the Circle, and then uh, at Showcase, they've got some uh, some certain boards that I like. Uh, Comor, everywhere's got sort of something different. Uh, even for uh, size wise too, you may go into one shop, they don't have the size you need, so they end up sending you to a different store just because you know all the stores I think I think they're pretty good with uh, uh, cooperating that way. so yeah, lots of uh, lots of good options here in Whistler. And Glove YTX says, have you ever been to Crested Butte, Colorado? Uh, no, but would love, uh, I've seen some videos from there, it looks amazing. Um, maybe we'll get down there this year. Robert says, your tutorials are the best. Uh, help out big time for my first time snowboarding. Uh, thanks so much. Yeah, well, thanks for watching, Robert. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Tom David says, hey man, can you suggest either Capita Catamaran or mind expander. Um, I'd probably go with the mind expander just because it's more of a it's more of a versatile board. I feel like it's it's more of a board that you can ride not only in powder, but then you can ride on the groomers and you, and it can just kind of do a bit more. The catamaran seems like one of those boards that's more of like a deep powder specific board, where I don't know it's it's such a crazy shape and everything. I feel like. That's a board that's gonna be it's gonna be awesome in powder, but I don't know how well it's gonna perform like just on, you know, maybe on a day that's not super deep pow. So I would say the mind expander is more versatile. I'd go for the go for the mind expander. And Cal Caleb Brown says, "Cool beanie, thanks, Caleb. Yeah, man. Uh, if you if you guys want to pick one up, uh, check out the link below." And Pim says, hey man, how did Landgraf land on your planning? Uh, so Landgraf, we started to hear the legends of Landgraf and how amazing it was as an indoor snow center. Uh, so from some of our, our friends, um, um, yeah, some of, some of the guys on the, chat, on the live chat here, also our friends Yannick and Rav, everyone was telling us about Landgraf, how we had to go 
And so uh, this October, we were kind of debating between going to the indoor center in Dubai or going to Landgraf and then onto the Stubai Glacier in Austria. And I think it just made more sense. I think the Landgraf uh, indoor slope is much bigger. It's supposed to have like, it's got like a full park set up. It looks like, like a fairly decent sized run. So I'm really, really looking forward to going there. And uh, yeah, we got it all set up. So that's how we came to Landgraf. It was kind of like uh, our friend Engen on here. Uh, he was, he uh, put out the recommendation as well. So yeah, that's how we, that's how we landed on it. Awesome guys. So um, a few other things. Um, congrats again to all the people that won the beanies. Snowboard Pro Camp beanies. Uh, just a quick reminder, the winners were Mandy Swan, Rishi P, and Nolan Legaspi on Instagram. Congrats, you guys won the beanies. I'll send those out for you guys soon. Uh, thanks for everyone that entered. Would love to uh, be able to send everyone out a beanie. But yeah, if you guys want to order one, they're just below. Awesome way to support the channel. Hope you guys like them. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, just a reminder, hit that, hit that, um, the bell beside the uh, subscribe button and you'll get notified every time. And we'll definitely have some more giveaways coming through the season as well. Um, and there's more sticker packs left too. So if you guys want some stickers for your board, uh, check that out with the beanie. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm gonna pop over to the Patreon page now for another 30 minutes on the live chat. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out Patreon, uh, basically Patreon, it's like a monthly thing where you can donate like two or $3 and then you get perks. So like one of the perks is like an extra 30 minute live chat. Also like bonus content over there. Um, one of the bonus content I'm gonna start uploading soon is, is sort of like, it's called chairlift stories, but basically um, tips or like our thoughts on the chairlift. Gonna make like three or four minute videos and then upload those onto Patreon. So super uh, stoked to get some of those up there for you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks to everyone that did the super chat. Amazing time talking to you guys, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next week, but TJ, he's doing a, a live chat on Monday as well. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I hope uh, everyone has some uh, shredding plans soon. Have fun out there, guys. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you next time.